the new cavity core wizard divides apart into its moulding components very quickly and simply. Just start the wizard. And the part has been immediately split along its own natural parting line when viewed down the Z direction. You can open the tool by either using the arrows or by dragging the slider bar. You see that there are some faces in this part that are ambiguous. If we turn on undercut shading, you'll see that some of these faces cannot be split from the current line of draw uh, without a little bit of modification. In this case, the angle is only very small. I'm going to leave those as they are, but I shall show you in a moment how to address this kind of issue. You can also turn on transparent shading and this allows us to see any of those ambiguous faces which can be selected and then simply click the arrow to put them onto the appropriate part of the tool. I'm going to take this face and the other ambiguous faces that are down in this bottom region and simply put those onto the other half of the tool by clicking on the arrow. There are some faces in this region that would be more convenient if they were split out using a slide. So I'm going to add a new line of draw. I'm going to turn off the transparent shading for a moment and add a new line of draw. This works out the average normal and gives us a direction. If you wish, you can change the direction simply by picking another face of the solid to give you a reference normal. And say OK to that. And now I can see that the part is being split into three separate pieces. There are some faces that are still a little ambiguous, so I'm just going to transfer those from one part of the tool to a different one. There's one more face here. And I'm going to change that direction. I'm going to turn the undercut shading off so now we can see the part in three separate colors. There is one more issue that I would like to address and that is on this back edge where you can see that it would be more convenient to have the bottom part of these faces form a small pocket. I'm going to temporarily close the tool back up so everything goes back into its ordinary position and now exit temporarily from the wizard, at which point I can come in and define some new wireframe or some new surfaces or some new solids or anything I want to help me finish the part. I'm going to select this face and I'm going to split that face using the piece of wireframe I just drew. Repeat that operation on the other half of the tool. And now I've corrected the split, but what I do need to do is to simply adjust the draft angle of these two side pockets with reference to the upper face of the tool that we know and simply apply. I've done with splitting faces, so I'm going to go back into the main cavity core wizard. And as I split the part, you can see I still have these two faces that are ambiguous. Put those onto the correct half of the tool. The final thing I'm going to do is to create a wireframe from the entire split line. And then I can say finish. So what we have now are three separate solids. One for the cavity, one for the core, one for the side core, and we also have wireframes of all of the open edges or boundaries from which we can create split surfaces or any other faces that we need to complete the parts.